CC police have already confiscated 20 boards alone this week. It is illegal to ride a skateboard here on campus. If caught, not only will you have your skateboard taken from you, you'll have to pay a hefty fine. Campus police are just trying to stress the importance of safety here. Now that the holidays are over, how long should you keep your food before throwing it away? We'll have those details coming up at 6. Staff Sergeant Joseph Weems was excited about his scheduled return home and his upcoming wedding. He did come home, but sadly, not in the way his family expected. A German newspaper reported he was struck by a train while riding his bike. Today, a community gathers to welcome him home. So the race is now ended. It was a mile in length total, and most of the people are warming up in the tents behind us. They're going to be celebrating through the rest of the day. They're feeling pretty good right now because the totals have come in at over 125,000, which is three times more what they originally asked for. Reporting time to Cleveland, I'm Lisa Parsons. Three people are confirmed dead, three others injured in a mass shooting near Auburn's University campus. Police say the gunman is on the run and remains extremely dangerous. Fox's news correspondent Elizabeth Pran has a story. Michigan offers some of the finest freshwater fishing in the world, and this weekend you fishing enthusiasts enjoy it all for free. A hot rod benefit is being held tonight for a man who was seriously injured in a car crash this spring. A pretty nasty one-car crash had parts of Interstate 94 shut down last night in Van Buren County. Kanye West, Snickers, Kanye West sneakers hit the nation by storm. Plus, Obama takes Europe. Those stories are next in your Bloomberg Business Reports. I'm standing here inside the West Side Market. It officially opened this morning since the fire took place about two weeks ago. Tune in at 6, we'll have more details. Inside the West Side Meat Market today, there are some produce booths that are open, but most have chosen to remain closed in solidarity for those that are not allowed to operate their booths at this time. More details coming up in the 6 o'clock hour. CC police have already confiscated 20 boards alone this week. It is illegal to ride a skateboard here on campus. If caught, not only will you have your skateboard taken from you, you'll have to pay a hefty fine. Campus police are just trying to stress the importance of safety here. 17 boards are lined up in the lobby of the GRCC Police Department. These boards were taken from riders who were caught riding on campus just this week. Early Tuesday morning, police say a longboarder was in the Boswick ramp about 2 a.m. When he went to jump on a wall, he lost his balance and fell 54 feet. Identified by friends as Jonathan Christiniak, he is suffering internal injuries, a collapsed lung, broken back, and damaged right foot. Public safety officer Scott Merlot said boarders show up late at night long after police crew are done patrolling the area. The city police has chosen to step in to help with the problem. 16 property damage reports have been filed since March, which cost thousands of dollars. Though the police can't confirm that these damages are related to the border activities, they do heavily coincide with the time the weather started getting warm. And that's the key also. We're not here. We don't want people here in the middle of the night that don't belong here. And the, the 16 incidents of damage is a good correlation or a good example of why we don't want want people here at the middle of the night that don't belong here. Skateboarders can get their boards back once they've paid a $100 fine. If they are caught again, they will be cited for trespassing. In Grand Rapids, I'm Lisa Parsons, Fox 17 News. Staff Sergeant Joseph Weems was excited about his scheduled return home and his upcoming wedding. He did come home, but sadly, not in the way his family expected. A German newspaper reported he was struck by a train while riding his bike. Today, a community gathers to welcome him home. He was a really caring guy, and my sister started getting really close to him, so it was, when I heard about it, I was like, tragic. Sure. Yeah, it's very sad. Former Marine well. Aaron Rapper okay. said he brought so his family how, you know. to show support for a fellow soldier and teach his children the importance of patriotism and freedom. It's, it's hard, but um, it's, I know this probably means a lot to his family for support, so it's good to see. Hundreds of others lined 84th Street waving their flags and paying their respects as Weems' body was brought to Cook Funeral Home. Air Force Sergeant Weems leaves behind a fiancé, family, and friends. Funeral arrangements are being made and we will post that information on our website, fox17online.com, as it becomes available. Reporting for Fox 17, I'm Lisa Parsons. Uh, 
it's a lot of high energy. Everyone's just really excited to do it. Um, it's, it raises money. We're the second highest raising city in the nation, the world actually. Um, it's just we have a lot of fun. It's a lot of it goes to a great cause. It's kids with cancer. There's no better reason to raise money. So the race has now ended. It was a mile in length total, and most of the people are warming up in the tents behind us. They're going to be celebrating through the rest of the day. They're feeling pretty good right now because the totals have come in at over 125,000, which is three times more what they originally asked for. Reporting live to Cleveland, I'm Lisa Parsons. Michigan offers some of the finest freshwater fishing in the world, and this weekend, you fishing enthusiasts enjoy it all for free. The Department of Natural Resources does this every winter and summer, allowing anyone to fish Michigan's 11,000 inland lakes, 36,000 miles of rivers and streams, and 3,000 miles of Great Lakes shoreline without a permit. Today was the last day of free fishing of the summer. Plenty of folks out there today enjoying the water and the sunshine. It was free fishing weekend, so I mean it's a beautiful day out, and it was just a lot of fun to be out here in this nice weather. Fishing weekends are usually held in February and in June. A hot rod benefit is being held tonight for a man who was seriously injured in a car crash this spring. Friends hosted the Dave Marfia benefit today out in Comstock Park. They're just getting set up here. Classic cars, food, music, drinks, dancing, you name it. The money raised tonight will help support 65-year-old Dave Marfia, a popular artist from West Michigan, also known as David Dunnett, the custom painter. Dave is in a wheelchair after he was injured in a car accident back on April 15th. He broke 23 bones and has a long recovery ahead of him. Friends organized this event to help Dave pay his medical bills. He's overwhelmed. Hello, I'm standing here today with Pete Marin in downtown Cleveland, and I would like to first off ask you what inspired your lawn display? Uh, the reason why, why I wanted to build it was for my son. It was actually for my son. Um, my son being a very big Transformer fan, just like me, um, you know, I, uh, I've always been decorating for Halloween, the scariest things imaginable, and I just got kind of tired of doing the same, you know, the same old scary, gory things, you know, I wanted to do something different. I came out with Optimus Prime, and Optimus Prime is 17 feet tall. Uh, when when Optimus Prime came out on the Transformer Halloween display, that's when uh, uh, everybody lost their minds. <laughs> he, he is 17 feet tall. From that point and after... Uh, so if you're not too booked for Halloween, come out and check out the display. It is really fun to see live and in person. It's really tall. And if you are too booked for Halloween, do not despair because the display will be up until the second weekend in November. So if you'd like to come and take a look at it for yourself, it is located at 4807 Wichita Avenue here in Cleveland, Ohio. Reporting live for WKLP News, I'm Lisa Parsons.